Hi everyone, welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. This will help me produce more content in the future. Now, let's have a look what this video is about. I had a subscriber contact me and wanted to have aileron differential on a delta wing, so in other words, with elevons. So let me show you how to set this up. We're going to, we're going to have a look at companion first and then we'll switch over to the radio and my demo unit so that I can show you this working. So I've already opened up my backup of my TX16S. I'm going to go into the Delta Diff. And then you will set up a standard um, Delta model. So if we go to the input, you can see there AET, oh, they're all standard. And if I go to flight modes, I just want to show you. In here, you can see I've put 30 in this global variable. Now, this is so at the field, you can change the amount of differential the elevon is going down. So you can adjust it at the field quickly. Now, let's go on to the inputs, as they said, they're standard. Now, let's go to mixes. And in the mixes, we've got the standard settings here, which are these two for your elevons, so that you have... Um, the channel one and channel two. Now, what we need to do is add this line here. Now, in here, once we've added the line, we need to say the weight must be GV1, and we must put a, a differential in of 100. Then we go to our second channel, and in here, we have to, again, the weight has to be GV1, and we have to select minus differential of 100. Now this will depend on your servos of course but this is what I needed to do to set up my test rig. Okay so that should be everything. So now we can go and have let's have a look at it on the radio so I can show you the settings there and then we will demonstrate it on my test rig. Okay let's take a look at the settings on the radio. We're going to hit the model key and I'm going to go straight across to the global variables and you can see uh, there's the 30 our global variable. Let's go back and the inputs are absolutely standard and in my channel mapping that's AETR. And we're going to go across and you can see here that the extra lines that we've got to get the aileron differential. So if I edit that line we can go and have a look at it. So the channel 1, the GV is it's GV1, that's a plus and the diff is 100% uh, which is a plus. Then we go to the second channel, our channel 2 Push enter, let's have a look, that is GV1, but this time the differential is minus 100%. Okay, so that is everything. Let me go across, I'm going to go to the global variable window. So we can see, hopefully you can, I'll try and get my fingers out of the way, you can see that my elevators are working fine in the right sense and at full throw. Now if I move the aileron, you'll see the downgoing one goes a lot less than the upgoing one, and the same the other way around. Now we can exaggerate this. If I push enter and go into here and say, okay, if I put 50, it will there will be no movement down. Let me show you. You see there's no movement down now. So let's make it 40. And now you can see only the downgoing aileron is only moving slightly. So there is the aileron differential on elevons. You can see that it's working. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Bye bye.